Welcome back, folks. This is Gary with Pablo. And we're here courtside. You're watching Maria Paz Munoz, the head official from Ecuador. Brief Kalani Lawrence from the USA on the right in blue. And Samantha Salas in green on the left. They'll toss the coin. Whoever wins the coin toss has a choice to serve in game one. It's the best of five 15-point games, win by one. Rally scoring, whether server wins the rally or receiver wins the rally. A point is scored, receiver would earn the serve as well. If the match should go the fifth game, the tie break, it would be 11 points, win by two. This is the last match of day three. We've yet to go tie break in any match. Amaya from Mexico, trying to get to the semis along with her doubles partner, Longoria, she already has. Lawrence's partner, Rasic, was defeated in the round of eight by Martinez earlier. Salas beat Christina Amaya from Colombia. Lawrence beat Mayela Haverty from Ireland. Here we go, 0-0, game one. Lawrence. Ball live. Back to her opponent into that left side wall and end of the rally right side. Lawrence one, Salas zero. Dallas right side. Long rally here. Oh, Salas, that flailing forehand of hers. Ends the rally with a rollout. One each. Rally scoring. Win by one, 15 points. Comes right, comes up short. Ten seconds to put the ball in play and or be ready to receive serve. Oh, faux pas there. Not only does she lose a serve, she loses a point. <laughs> Two one in favor of Lawrence. Short. Second serve. Nick Lobb left. Winner. Backhand. Left side wall, front wall, pinch combination. 3 1. Good start for Lawrence, USA. Z serve. Set up. Pinch winner. It's a great equation. Power serve, weak return, put away. Ace. Quick lead for Lawrence here. 5-1 in game one. Set up. Up front, Lawrence. Same side, drives it down that wall. Time out, so when we return, it will be 6-1 in favor of Lawrence. 
and Salas has used her one available timeout in game one. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it over. Back, folks, Gary and Alexis. Great start, Alexis, for Kalani Lawrence. Fantastic start. That was a great return to serve because that serve was strong. So that was a quality timeout by Salas. Stops the proverbial bleeding, if you will. Maria Paz Munoz from Ecuador is our head official. She lives in the city, beautiful city of Cuenca. Unforced error by Lawrence. So two straight points for Salas coming out of that timeout. 3 6. That's impressive. Drive serve. Roll out return with the backhand. And Samantha returns the favor by rolling out a forehand. 4-7, Four, game one. Best of five. This is match eight of the day, the la last one. Tomorrow, semifinals and finals and third place matches. Another winner, Salas, 5-7, inching back. Comes right. Replay call, first serve. Players converged, visual hinder. Ace. So, Alexis, why don't you share with our viewing audience uh, the history of these two players? So, it looks like these two have only uh, matched up twice before in tournaments. Um, and the streak is 2-0 for Salas. So, I'm assuming today Kalani wants revenge and would like to make that 1-2. to two. Hopefully for her, third time's the charm. So we're tied at seven here in game one. It was a 1-6 deficit for Salas, now it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Great return to serve by Lawrence that time. 
She earns the serve, scores a point. Rally scoring. Errant return a serve into the floor by Salas. So two point lead for Lawrence. A serve, three point lead. Salas has no timeouts remaining in this game. Lawrence has her one available. Another point on Arroyo here. One six, seven, seven, now eleven, seven. down coming in to serve Samantha Salas for Mexico world champ multiple times in doubles looking for some help from her coaching staff Good dig. Keeps it going. Ooh, Kalani put it in the floor with that overhead forehand. 9-11, game one. <clears throat> Comes right. Back up top. Good save. Oh my. Time for a timeout, Alexis. Smart, smart time to take one. When we return, it'll be Salas serving 10, Lawrence receiving 11. Stay tuned, folks. We appreciate you tuning in. We'll be back. back. Gary and Alexis, Evan, Adrian. Center court here at the Racquetball Venue Recreation Center here on the campus of the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Samantha Salas, Mexico serving to Kalani Lawrence, USA, 10-11, game one. Empty timeout from Lawrence. So we're tied at 11. First to 15, win by one. Wins the game. Best of five. Whoever wins, we'll go to a semifinal tomorrow. Ball down. Samantha now takes the lead. So the winner will play Gabriela Martinez from Guatemala. And on the other side, we have Longoria, Mexico versus Barrios from Bolivia. Reverse, wide angle. 
Ball down. Nice return of serve, Alexis, by Kalani. Tied at 12. Maria Paz Munoz stops play. Players converged. It's called a dead ball hinder. No change in score, first serve. Comes across her body, hits it short. Set up, backhand. Set up, forehand. And a put away. Lawrence takes the lead, 13-12. Who will get to 15 first? That's the question. Short, short serve drives right. play. First serve again, no change in score, forehand winner ties it at 13 serve to the left set up Lawrence off the back so now it's game point number one for Lawrence who's serving 14 13 short serve Serve left. So, Salas saves game point number one. And now she has game point number one for her. Game point number two for Bailey. 14-14. Comes right, short, second serve. <laughs> Bailey right side, left side, Salas. Salas, backhand, roll out, 15, 14 over. Lawrence in game one. We'll be back courtside in two minutes. Stay tuned, folks. Fantastic racquetball here at the World Games.
Welcome back, everybody. Game two. Samantha took the first game, 15-14. This is our last match of the day. Semifinals and finals start tomorrow. On the men's side, we have Mexico versus Mexico. And then Colombia versus Costa Rica. And the women will be Mexico and Bolivia, Guatemala, and that's the winner of this match. Great rally to start off this second game here. We are tied at 1-1. One, one. These two have played each other before. Only about two times though. Samantha holds the winning streak of 2-0. So Kalani is here today to take a match off her and bring it to 1-2. Little miss hit there from Kalani. It's now three serving two for Salas. It's a great serve. Just a little more of the snap of the wrist there. She would have had that one. It is a side out in point, 3-3. Three, three. I want to thank all of you for tuning in and watching this week. Gearbox is the official ball of the World Games 2022. It is also the official ball of the International Racquetball Federation. Thank you, Gearbox. Amazing court coverage and shot selection between these two. A lot of back and forth. I'm thinking this might go four games. Unavoidable call. No argument from Salas. Both players do have two appeals to use as long as the ref does not disagree with you. You are able to keep your appeal and use it again. We are using video analysis for our appeal.
It is now six serving five for USA. Crack a serve on the right hand side. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. We are more than happy to answer them. I'm going to see a quick timeout here from Salas. We're going to take a one minute break and then we'll be back with you on the International Racquetball Federation Live. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Welcome back, everybody. We are in game two here. It is eight serving five for Kalani. <laughs> Good timeout call for Samantha there. Side out and a point. Kwani with a cross court winner. It's nine serving seven. A serve to the forehand. Saw Sam was leaning a little too far to the left there. Perfectly executed shot selection by Salas. Just lost that ball on the glass wall there. It is tied at 10-10. Kalani is coached by Jim Durham of USA. Her husband and her mom are also here watching. 
And Sam is being coached by her other teammates. Great pick up by Sam. Very smart shots from Kalani. Now 12-10. Kalani seems to be taking the lead for most of this game here. Unforced error there by Kalani. She definitely wants that point back. And we've got a timeout here. We will be back on the IRF Facebook page. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham? Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. Welcome back, everybody. It's still game two. We are tied 12-12 with Salas to serve. Salas took game one, 15-14. Samantha is going to appeal. She would <coughs> like a replay.
and the call will stand. It was not overturned, so it will be a point for Kalani. It is 14-13. That is game two. Sam Mantha won the first one, 15-14. Kalani won the second one, 15-13. We'll be back in two minutes with game three. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it over. Back, folks. Gary Mazaroff, Alexis Iwasa, thanks for taking over that game. Will we go tiebreak? That's the question. Day three, last match. We've yet to go five games. So it's one apiece. Salas will serve. She won game one, 15 14, lost the second, 13 15. I believe this will only go four games. Okay, do I hear five? Evan Pritchard, no response. Back up top. Rally ending shot by Salas, right corner. One zero, game three. Maria Paz Munoz, our head ref. Miss hit by Samantha after a good ceiling ball from Lawrence, 1-1. One, one. Standing in the left part of the service zone is Lawrence. It's the drive Z again. And a winner, Salas, two to one, coming in to serve. Winner will face Gabriela Martinez from Guatemala in one of the two semis. The other side is Longoria versus Barrios. Miss hit. Three one.
basketball. That long swing of hers, Alexis. It is, you don't want to get trapped behind her. <laughs> Another miss hit by Lawrence. She needs to settle down. Yeah, she's rushing things a little bit too much, trying to do too much with the ball. Just keep it in play. Nice ceiling ball to the back. Regroup, reposition, reposition yourself on the court and get ready for the next shot. Winner. No, it's skipped, I'm sorry. Point for Lawrence. Serving at 3-4, game three. Ah. Uh, ball kissed off too much off that back wall on that drive Z. Gave Samantha an opportunity to set up and drive a cross court pass winner. Two point spread in favor of Salas. Another skip, kind of push that one. And pushed it into the floor. 6-3, game three, Salas serving. Half lob. Play stop by Munoz, Salas will serve again. No change in score for serve. Uh, court's only 40 feet long. Four six. Lawrence serving. Get to the opening down the left side wall. Winner, Salas, 7-4. There's a statement forehand, Alexis. Point five. I think that's one of her more preferred shots. Stroke through the ball. Drive Z. Set up, Salas. Uh, she left it up. Gave Lawrence an opportunity and she took advantage of it. Backhand pass right side. So the score converges again at 6-7, game three. Broken ball. One of the few of a lot from Gearbox. Gearbox Black, official ball of the International Racquetball Federation, official ball for the World Games. Replay the point, first serve. Six serving seven, game three. Nobody home, right side, winner. Another tie, Alexis, 7-7. Seven, seven. 
Who's going to win this game? Whoever keeps the momentum going, and I find whoever's more in control of their serves is victorious in the rallies. And Salas now has a one point advantage. Back and forth, back and forth. Reverse, right side. Skipped it in. A gift for Bailey. Bailey Lawrence, that is. That's her maiden name. Ace, out right, left side. So Lawrence takes over the lead. Comes right side. I can go left, I can go right, she says. Let's see. So when we return, Lawrence will be serving 10-8. Timeout on the floor from Salas, and we'll be back. You're watching the IRF network. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. Welcome back, folks. Gary and Alexis, we're here. Show court in Birmingham. Game three, Lawrence, USA, 10. Salas, eight from Mexico. So, ace left, ace right, roll out left. What will she do now? She got an 11 8 lead. She reverses, ball down, four in a row. Samantha's used her timeout. It's a nice run for the young lady from the USA. Short ball, second serve. Up top, ceiling exchange, three times. Oh, nice. Samantha regroups, rolls that out with the backhand up front. Let's see if she can get back to a position of strength, it's 9-12. Pushes that half lob. Splat winner, backhand off that weak ceiling ball by Salas. So, Alexis, we have Lawrence serving two points from taking a 2-1 lead. Can she do it? And with a serve like that, certainly can. That head fake came down the right side. Samantha was leaning left. Game point number one, Lawrence. Back up top. Maybe an ill-advised shot by Lawrence. We'll see. 
So Salas, 10, Lawrence, 14. She holds off game point number one. This is game point number two for Lawrence as the receiver. Right side, and she cashes in. We're here in Birmingham, 2022 World Games Racquetball. The last match of the day, Mexico, USA. USA, Lawrence leads two games to one over. Mexico, Salas, stay tuned, folks. We are live, Gary and Pablo here with Evan. Will Lawrence win in four, or will we go to the first tiebreak of the week? That's the question. Kalani Lawrence serving, USA. Samantha Salas, Mexico receiving. Reverse to the right. Return to serve winner by Salas, 1-0. Great serve, weak return up front. Good try by Lawrence. 2-0, good start for Mexico. Winner will play Gabriela Martinez from Guatemala in one of the two semis. Yeah, questionable call there. From our vantage point, Kalani put herself in a predicament, but there are two not accepted appeals available. There's an appeal on the floor that the ball was down. So Maria Paz will review the video and make a determination. Does she stand with her original call or will she reverse herself? So the call stands. Salas loses one of her not accepted appeals. Skip ball. Three serving zero in favor of Salas in game four. This is match eight of eight today. Tomorrow we have 
two semi matches, two final matches, and two third place matches, six total. Short call. Over 100 countries represented here at the 2022 Birmingham World Games. 14 countries for racquetball. Statement forehand, right corner, roll out, Smatha. Lawrence being urged on by her coach, Jim Durham. Drive serve across her body, comes up short. Half lob left, up top. Uh, another skip. Timeout, Lawrence, one minute in length. And we will return to Birmingham. You're on the IRF Facebook feed. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. Side folks, Gary Mazaroff, Alexis Iwasa, Samantha Sala serving. She has a 5 0 lead in game four. She trails in sets one to two to Lawrence. Lawrence just called a momentum timeout, so she has none left in this game. Uh, indecision there. Empty timeout from Lawrence, 6-0. If Samantha prevails in this game, we'll experience the first tiebreaker this week. And if it happens, Alexis, it'll be 11 points, win by two. Half lob. Wrap around. Samantha came up, took it early off the short hop and hit a forehand winner left side. So it's 7-0 game four. Great shot by Salas, 8-0. What can Bailey do to get back in this game, Alexis? I like what she's doing right now, holding up the racket in between the serves, taking that extra 10 seconds, making Samantha wait and not rush the ball. Just uh, keep pushing her to the back of the court, keep making her shoot, and you never know. That's true. I like the fact that Samantha has used her half lob on her first serve. Mm -hmm. She's putting, keeping Kalani deep, not giving her an offensive opportunity. 9-0. Same serve. She wraps it around. 
Silas again, forehand. Rolls it out. If nothing more, Kalani needs to get some momentum for a tie break. So it's 10-0 in game four. Lawrence has used her one timeout. Great shot. Let's see what this will lead to. Again, if nothing more, some momentum for a tie break. It's 110. Comes up short with that drive left. She's been going with the Z's predominantly throughout this match on the second serve. Z's left. She does it again. Another skip. Quite a few unforced errors in the last two games. I think she's just feeling a lot of pressure at this moment. I should Trying say this game can. anyway, my fault. She won the last game and she was in control, but um, see if she, ooh, that'll help. Yep. Wallpaper that'll ball help. along the glass. It's a tough one to retrieve. Flat, right corner, Salas. 12-2 lead. Comfortable lead, no guarantees. Ball live. Miss hit. Fortunately, the ball cleared. That cut in the glass, that's a replay here. <laughs> Round of applause. <clears throat> the crowd appreciates talent. 12-2, half goes back to the half log. Nope. Ball skipped in. Three serving 12, game four. Another skip. A little momentum run here, Alexis. Four twelve. Comes right. So she called a screen. But uh Salas held up, took a half swing because of safety. Nevertheless, second serve, Nick Lobb, ceiling return. Salas, forehand. Skip ball. She appeals, appeared to skip from here. We're confident that Maria Paz will confirm her original call. And Sound Salas up. will have used up one of her not accepted appeals. So it's either going to be 5 12. Or 6 11 coming in. Here. 
erred on that one. It would be 413 because if she reverses it, it would be a rollout. Let's see what happens. The call is skip. Overruled. Point scored for uh, Salah, so should be six or four twelve. Excuse me. Four thirteen. No. Thirteen four. 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 So it was reversed. No point for Lawrence. One point for Salas. Thirteen serving four. Rally scoring, folks. Comes right side. Set up. Nobody home right side. Pure pass along that wall. So we have in game four, match point, uh, excuse me, in game four, game point number one. And if Salas Alexis cashes in, we will play our first tie break of the tournament. Exciting. Well, not yet. Second game point for Salas. Five serving 14. Short. Ten seconds once the score is called for both players to either put the ball in play or be ready to receive serve. Okay, two game points held off. 6-14, Lawrence serving. Unfortunate bounce off that back wall. We will go tie break, folks. That's tie break with a capital T. It will be 11 points, win by two. Premier tiebreaker. Este evento. So we will break. We'll come back in the better part of two minutes. Two sets apiece. Great racquetball here. Back here at show court, we are making history this week now. We have the first tie break. It took 
three days to do so. 11 points, win by two. Samantha Salas has the choice to serve because she accumulated more points and she's electing to serve, 0-0. Zero, zero. Half lob, that worked for her in game four. Skip in. The nerves start to appear. Lawrence serving 1-0. Z serve. Avoidable hinder called. So Bailey Lawrence feels that she had cleared. Perhaps. Maria Paz Munoz will review the video. She called an avoidable, meaning side out and point for Samantha. If that stays, it'll be 1-1. And if not, it'll be a replay. 1-0 in favor of Lawrence. We've got a uh, Dean Bear in the chat here. Hello, we Dean. Miss you, Dean. He says, great work. So many matches in one day. We miss you, Dean. It's been too quiet without you here. So, no appeal used. It's 1-0 in favor of Lawrence. Each player still has their two not accepted appeals. Available one timeout. Comes left. Back up top. Set up. Ball down. Salas coming in to serve. One serving one. Tie break. 11 points. Win by two. Ball down, point. So this game will be the format of the World Championships next month. 20 through 27, August in San Luis Potosi. It'll be the best of five, all games to 11, win by two. Short with that drive across her body to the left. One point lead for Salas in this tie break. 2-1. Half lob left. Up top. Straight in, straight back, winner. 3-1. Winner of this game will play in a semi-final against Gabriela Martinez tomorrow. We start at 9 a.m. Tune in, folks. Half lob left. Whiff. Lost it on the glass, Alexis. Yeah, it's a tough serve. I'd like to see her do that a couple more times. Soul searching time for Lawrence. Three-point deficit. <laughs> Rally ending forehand by Lawrence down that right wall. This is not a player timeout. This is a referee timeout for a towel wipe. Many thanks to the local organizing committee, all the volunteers, incredible, incredible work they've done this week. 
And we still have another full day here at the racquetball venue at UAB. Student Recreation Center. Thank you, Eddie Meredith and your, your crew for putting this court up. Two serving four, Lawrence serving. Drive right. Winner. Lead back to one. Rally scoring. Three, four. See if she goes right or left or reverses it or jams her. She goes left. Gets the setup up front and pinches it. Momentum swing, Alexis. It is. Let's see if Salas can come up with an answer here. She did some soul searching and guess what? It paid off. Yep. 4-4. Four, four. Ace takes the lead in this game. It was 1-4, now it's 5-4. Timeout on the floor by Salas. You're watching Racquetball World Class at the World Games on the IRF Network. We'll be back. back. Gary Mazaroff, Alexis Iwasa, Adrian Macrino, and Evan Pritchard. We're here at the show court. Lawrence serving five. Salas receiving four. Tie break. 11 points. Win by two. There you have it. Valuable timeout. 5-5. Five, five. Lob again, left side. That's been effective for her last couple games. Set up. Ball down. So Bailey enters the service zone with a one point lead. 6 5. Getting tense here, folks. In Birmingham. Short serve. Skip ball, 7-5. Lawrence addressing the ball left side of the service zone. Comes with that drive right. And got handcuffed with that return of serve by Salas. So Salas enters the zone to serve, 6-7. Fifth game, tie break, win by two. Rally scoring. Wow. What a guess. Wow, Alexis. Say it, wow. That is fantastic. Lawrence, another two point lead. Inching closer to a victory here, 8-6. Comes right side, comes up short. Control Z that time. And 
She lost that ball in the deep left corner. Great return of serve by Salas. So it's a one point deficit for Salas who's serving seven, eight, game five. Will we have overtime? Half lob left. Up top, set up. Saved. Ball down. Very fortunate, Salas had three opportunities. Gave Lawrence a chance, but she didn't take advantage, so we're tied at eight. Empate, Ocho Iguales in the fifth set. I've got a question here about the win by two. They would like us to explain it a little bit more. So 11-10 does not win it. It has to be 12-10 or 81-79. Back up top. Salas, right side, wrap around, wide angle, winner, Salas. So Salas takes a 9-8 lead. She'll be serving when we come back. Lawrence took her one time out. We'll stay here, we'll stay here. Win by two means, well, if you look at game number one, Samantha won 15-14. So this is an 11 point game. 11-10 wouldn't do it, it would have to be 12-10. Yep. Make sure the viewer understands that please. And so it goes on like Wimbledon used to be. What a great match. Yes, so for this tournament, um, the game five does go to 11, games one to four to 15. Come Worlds in Guatemala next month, it will be five games to 11. All games will be win by two. That's accurate. One time out in each game. <laughs> Got a comment here that says, I think every time Gary says Kalani Bailey, he needs to donate 200 stars. Done. <laughs> Done. <coughs> Salas serving. Representing Mexico. Lawrence representing the USA receiving 9-8 Salas. Half lob left. Forehand winner left side. So we have match point number one for Samantha Salas. 10-8, game five. Up top. Saved by Lawrence. Wow. Lawrence saves one match point. Puts it away, deep court with a kill. Right side, backhand. Match point number two for Silas, 9-10. Short. She's been going with that drive Z. Last time she tempered the pace a little bit. Let's see if she comes full tilt. No, tempers it again. Up top. Salas. From Mexico over Lawrence from the USA. Three games to two. Tiebreaker 11 9. We will be here tomorrow for the semis and the final matches. Thank you for tuning in, folks. We're going to sign off until tomorrow. <laughs>